guys, welcome back to the J Life. I'm JP and I'm joined by Johan. What's up guys? So today we are continuing with our series on knees and we are going to be talking about a rupture on one of the ligaments or tendons surrounding the knee. So let's carry on with all you need to know. Okay, so we are going to be giving you two exercises that you can do after you've been through your whole recovery process. And I need you to remember that the recovery process with a ruptured ligament or tendon is quite lengthy. So please make sure that you are first cleared by our care professional before you attempt any of the exercises that we're going to be showing you. So let's get into the two exercises that you can do to help you improve your range of motion. Hey guys, so the first one is a wall sit. Just make sure your feet are is on a surface that's not slippery and you're just going to basically hold a 90 degree sit back against the wall, shoulders touching and just hold. Hey guys, so why this is a very safe exercise for you to be doing is because it's an isometric hold and you are not going to put any strenuous pull or push movements on the tendon or ligament. So doing a wall sit is a great way to start and you might notice that in the beginning you're not going to be able to go down as low. So just go down as far as you can go before you start feeling a big amount of tension in the joint that has the injury and then just keep it there. Over time we will slowly progress downwards. All right, so exercise number two. So exercise number two is a bridge hold. All right guys, so once again, isometric movement, decide to start strengthening the hamstrings, the glutes and the core and starting to put a little bit of pressure on the knee. So once again, the same goes here. If you can, if you're in the beginning, only can bend your legs to a certain degree and then lift, that's fine. And then as you become stronger and you can bend your legs even more, you can start putting more weight on one side by slightly lifting up one foot. All right, so try lifting up one foot, Johan, and then hold it there and go back down. So that would be the way to increase your difficulty of this exercise. But as a beginner, just start with the hold and just see if you are feeling comfortable and you don't experience more pain afterwards. So there you have it. Those are the two movements that you can do to start getting your recovery process going and getting into movement. Up next, we're gonna show you two movements that you should avoid so that you do not re-injure yourself and remember to be patient when you have ruptured a tendon, a tendon or a ligament. All right, so the first movement that you want to avoid is any plyometric movement like jumping up and down, hopping on one leg or jumping off of something and the risk of injury is just massive. So please avoid any plyometric exercises until you have been cleared by your healthcare professional. Johan, what's the second one? The second one is any rotation on the joint. So if you're playing tennis or anything like that, you don't want to stop and turn on the knee. Maybe you're a ballerina, <laughs> something like that. You don't want to put weight on the knee and then turn it in any direction. Okay. So on that turn of events, exercise is medicine, so keep moving. 